Hey guys, Ken here with 4 Online, and today I'm going to show you a quick trail hack that could save your truck or Jeep if your winch cable snaps. If you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how to make a Molly Hogan loop. Now this can be used if your cable snaps while you're out on the trail and you don't have any tools with you. You can pretty much do it with nothing. Um, the first thing you're gonna wanna really do is bang out the, uh, the end if it's not already frayed enough. Maybe you will need a hammer. Maybe find a rock, big rock, and bang it against another rock until you can get this to fray out so that you can easily unwind it. You can even use your teeth. I, I wouldn't do that, no. So once you're done getting it frayed out, the second thing you're gonna do is actually unwind the cable and get your strands equally unwound. Now this particular cable actually has three um, strands on each side and then a center strand. So you wanna get equal on each side. We're gonna put three on each side and then a center strand and actually I already wound the center strand up on this one. So there's four on one side and three on the other. You just want it as equal as possible. You're gonna to wanna to get it pretty far undone, okay? Enough so that you can loop it around on itself. Now, the smaller the loop, the better, and have a six inch tail. So once you have your actual loop size, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take the cable and start threading it back into itself using the natural uh, curves, basically, or threading or braiding of the uh, cable. So they'll naturally fit back into themselves. And once you do that, you just keep going on each side and you're gonna get this good looking thread here. And it, as you can tell, it looks just like the rest of the cable. And that's because the bent strands that were naturally wrapped here are now wrapping the same way amongst the other two cables. They're just kind of backwards, but that's fine. So you keep going with that and you're gonna keep tucking it in and tucking it in until you get it all the way down. And you're gonna go all the way down one side get it in there until it won't go anymore. See, we're at a point where it won't go anymore. So that's the end of our tail on that side. We'll go this way with this other one. Tuck it through. Make sure you don't hit yourself in the face with it. Also, gloves. You could be wearing gloves. I chose not to because we're kind of in a controlled environment. Done this a few times today, so it's pretty easy. You don't need gloves. Now, once you have it at the bottom here, you can see that there's the two strands. You're gonna to wanna to do the same thing with those and get them to go back into their natural shape, curving around each other. You're gonna curve them all the way around each other until they look like the normal rope used to look, okay? Now using this method, some will say that the cable strength is reduced by 50%. Others say it still retains like 90% of the cable strength. And some people say it doesn't lose any strength at all, so long as you have a six inch tail at the end here. So they use this in a bunch of different industries. They'll use it not just in off-roading, um, but also in fishing and industrial applications for quick fixes. Um, I'm sure you guys know of a ton of other places where you've used this. But again, we, we recommend it as just a quick fix. Uh, some of the other names for this is an eye splice or Flemish splice or even a farmer's eye. So it's been around for a while, it's nothing new, but some of you have never seen it. Tell us what you guys have seen this used for before, some of you uh, OGs out there. So you wanna try to keep the eye as small as possible while keeping at least a six inch tail. That'll give you the most strength to the overall cable. If you have a bigger eye, it's gonna be a little bit weaker, but I did this large so that you guys can see the example um, a, a lot easier. Um, and you wanna get this area in here to be as tightly wound into itself as you possibly can. Again, that's a point of failure, so we don't want that to fail by having it loose. Make it as strong as possible. So if you don't have something that has a removable pin, like this hook or a shackle, and you need to put it into something more like this, it's a permanent fixture, permanent eye, then we can go ahead and do that too. You basically just loop each side through the hole in whatever you're trying to loop it through before you start your loop. Okay, so we go ahead and pull it through, and then we get it to the size of the loop that we want. A little bit too much there. Say like that, and then we'll start doing the wrapping or braiding with the rope and do each side. And then you finish off your wrap that way. And that's all we have for this quick trail hack, but if you've got any useful tricks, hacks, or tips, email us at videos at fourwheelonline.com and we'll feature your idea. Again, I'm Ken with Four Wheel Online and thanks for watching.